It's the graduate final and the post parade led by our special patriotic horse. And here's the field for the $250,000 graduate four-year-old open. Lord Cromwell, number one, Jim Marone Jr. driving for Ed Hart and Carolyn Atherton. Dunbar Hall, number two, it's Jody Jameson for Stephanie Jameson, Carl Jameson, and George Harrison. Three is Moonshiner Hanover, Dave Miller in the bike for Chris Beaver, Sonerco Ventures, and Bill Main. International Money, number four, Scott Ciron driving for Domenico Ciceri and Money Maker Stable. Five is Sortie, Tron Smith's Hammer for Patricia Stable, Noel Daly, John Federa, and Joe Sobranco. Six is Don Dream, Brett Miller in the bike for John Boot and Shane, and Crawford Farms Racing. Seven is Bill's Man with Corey Callahan driving for John Bootenshane, Crawford Farms Racing, m &L of Delaware, and VIP Internet Stable. The eight is Ariana G, Yannick Jingra for Jimmy Tactor, Marvin Katz, and Al Lipfeld. Top Flight Angel, number nine, Andy Miller driving for Julie Miller, Legendary Standard Bread Farm. And yes, Mickey, number 10, with Oki Svonstead, the trainer and driver for Melby Guard Incorporated. That's 10. Four here has a chance to assert herself in, a, I think, a light field of boys despite the outside assignment. They are at the gate. It's post time for race five. Field of 10 lining up for the graduate final. And 3-2 to two on the 8, Ariana G facing the boys here at 2-1, to one, the 2 Dunbar Hall. 6-1 to one action on the 4. International money with last year's winner, Scott Ziron driving with the Lindy Farms colors, the dark colors. This race sponsored by the drivers and trainers of the Meadowlands. Thank you for your strong support of racing here. It's the graduate final for Trotters. $250,000 off stride is the 6 Don Dream. Don's Dream. Don Dream is off stride, and they're off with Yes Mickey on the far outside. Ariana G trying to blast off with speed. Moonshiner Hanover from between horses shoots out there with international money as they fan across the track five wide, and Ariana G is going to swoop down and take the lead from Moonshiner Hanover, who leaves alertly. Left three wide, international money surges on the outside. Lord Cromwell on the rail fourth. Past the opening quarter they go. And settling in is Dunbar Hall off the speed. Fifth on the inside. Sortie is sixth past the quarter, followed by Bill's Man. And then top flight Angel and uh, Yes Mickey. Way back after the break, Don Dream 27 and 3, first quarter. Across the back stretch, Ariana G has company, and it's international money on a grind on the outside. They hook up past the half. And they're soon to reach that marker. Moonshiner Hanover on the inside. Third has decision time here. Dunbar Halt Hayes outside looking to flush him out. Lord Cromwell on the inside. Saves ground in fifth. Sortie to the outside sixth. Bill's man seventh on the outside. Then top flight Angel. And yes, Mickey and Don Dream. 55 and two for the half mile. 27 and four. And they continue to tussle on the far turn. International money. Ariana G on the inside under that severe pressure. They slug it out toe to toe. Moonshiner Hanover right there in the pocket spot. And looming large is Dunbar Hall. Dunbar Hall, he can rally. He comes three deep for Jody Jamison now. Lord Cromwell needs to shake loose. To the outside comes Sortie and Trunt Smetshammer, who is tracking Dunbar Hall's move. And they fan out 123 and 2 in the stretch of the graduate final. And it's Ariana G who opens up. Ariana G by three, now four. Moonshiner Hanover left in the wake here. And the others are far back. And Ariana G is putting on a display here with Yannick Jingra. Turned on the afterburners and destroys the boys in the graduate final in 150-2. Ariana G over Moonshiner Hanover. Then close, top flight Angel or Sortie. Number eight, Ariana G with a stunning world record performance of 150 and two-fifths. Three, Moonshiner Hanover second and a photo for show.
Number five, Sortie was third, nine. Top Flight Angel, fourth, eight, three, five, nine. Once again, Metal Lance Racing and Entertainment would like to thank the drivers and trainers of Metal Lance Racing for their sponsorship of the Graduate Trot Final. And last year, Ariana G gave Yannick Jingra and Jimmy Tactor four consecutive Hamiltonian Oaks championships. She is a two time Dan Patch Award winner, two time Breeders' Crown champion. She vaults past two million dollars. One of the greatest trotting fillies of all time, the daughter of Muscle Hill, Ariana G, with a world record performance, an absolute blowout here in the graduate final trot, eclipsing the previous track and world record set by Motocon Hanover 151 back in 2017. Ariana G tonight in 150 and two with that final quarter of 27 flat, with eye-catching acceleration. She is a daughter of Muscle Hill out of Cantab at all by Cantab Hall. Bred in Ontario by the owners Marvin Katz of Toronto. Al Libfeld, Pickering, Ontario. Hall of Famer Jimmy Tactor is the trainer. Yannick Jingra, the winning driver. That's her second win in just her fourth start of 2018 as a four-year-old. Her 23rd career victory in 30 starts. Over $2 million. Now 150 and two. A world record performance from Ariana G., in the graduate final, congratulations. And making the trophy presentation in the winner's circle are COO and general manager Jason Settlemore. And again, we thank the drivers and trainers of the Meadowlands for their sponsorship of the graduate final. As eight, Ariana G is a blowout winner and a world record of 150 and two tonight. Paying five dollars, three dollars, two eighty. Number three, Moonshiner Hanover, five forty, four sixty, and the five sortie, seventeen forty to show. The eight three exacta, twenty seven eighty. Eight three five trifecta, four hundred thirty eight dollars. In just a few moments, Bob Hollywood Hayden will get a winner's circle reaction from the connections of Ariana G. Post time set for race six. The first elimination for the Crawford Farms Metal Lance Pace in 12 minutes at 8.26. Race 6 is sponsored by Lexington Selected Yearling and Mixed Sale. Exacta Trifecta Superfecta and Pick 3. The Dime Superfecta 8359 454.87. In race 7, the one fair chase make the driver Corey Callahan. We're in the winner's circle here, the first of the two graduate finals. Jimmy Tactor, Yannick Zingra. Yannick, any thought at all about international money, letting him go? Honestly not. You know, I, uh, I want to keep him out there. He, he didn't look like he had as much shot as I did. My filly felt so strong, and uh, I was going to take the matter in my own hands, and, um, you know, she showed it. Did it just take her a few starts to become the old Ariana G? No, no. She, uh, I thought she qualified really well. The first start was good. No, a little bump in the road. Though. She got sick. It happens to everyone. And uh, last week at Chester, I thought she raced really good. You know, the gate opened. You no, know, four or five horses left inside of me. I took her back. They come back at 55. You know, what are you going to do from back there? You know, uh, I thought she was uh, really good there, too. 50, uh, last quarter of the race was the fastest. She just looks like she wanted more on the wire. Yeah, you know, I was telling Jimmy at the half, you know, I was taxing half. I wasn't 100% sure I was going to win, but in the last turn, she started to swell up, and she felt so, so strong that uh, I knew it would be, uh, you know, something would have to happen for her to get beat tonight. How about filibuster later on? You know, I'm going to have to make it a little bit easier on him. Uh, I don't think he's a horse that really uh, is big, big on the front. And, uh, you know, last couple of weeks I thought it was a little disappointing, but uh, I'm looking for a bounce back from him. Thanks, Yannick. Thank Jimmy Tactor, Ariana G, took on the boys, and boy, with authority. 
Yeah, she was awesome tonight. I mean, uh, I'm so glad to, uh, she's where she belongs. I mean, uh, like Yannick said here, I'm, you know, she went up to Canada and uh, blood work was wrong and she, she scoped bad. And I mean, I had to give a little time to rebound from that. And, uh, you know, she had a good winter, so I know the Philly is uh, it's a, it's a top level form. I mean, also, it's, it's just those things happen when they get sick. Three shots at the middle end space coming up. Who's your best chance? Nutcracker is uh, the best one, and I, I like both my other ones. And I mean, think big, uh, you know, he have to see how he's going to be able to handle uh, these kind of horses. But uh, he's a lovely horse. Good luck, Jimmy. The rest of the night. Thank you.